Howdy Hacksters! I am back from this year's Open Hardware Summit in New York, and as usual, it brought thrills, spills, and some seriously mad skills. So, as we've done for the last three years running, uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up the swag bag, which uh, a lot of people got a digital one, and there's also a badge, which if you signed up early enough, you were lucky enough to get one. So, let's take a look. And first, let me check that my audio is set up, because it's been a while. Yes, there we go. We should be sounding good. <laughs> okay, so uh, first up, let's just take everything out of this bag. But I want to show you the website. Uh, you can find all the links in the description to this video as per usual, including the uh, main summit page, the amazing team that ran this. Okay, okay, so before we open up the bag, I just got to say this was an amazing event and the team was just incredible. These folks ran such a tight ship and made it an incredible incredible memory memorable <laughs> incredibly memorable event um with a, a whole bunch of really cool people and it was wonderful getting to see a lot of people in person again for the first time in years okay so you can find a bunch of links in the description of this video including all these sessions are now live on the oshawa uh youtube page and there's a bunch of other cool stuff that we'll get to later all right all right Time for the exciting bit. So there was an amazing, <laughs> I don't know who did the design for this year, but there were these really cool uh, sort of collage images that were these sort of low, lo-fi collages that were gorgeous. And I actually got a few posters of the different designs they had up around there, uh, which I should have grabbed actually. Too late. Let's dig into here. So of course we've got this beautiful pink tote bag. Pink isn't even really my color, but look at it. It's a kind of awesome hot pink. We have a matching water bottle, which I did use a bunch actually in my hotel room. <laughs> I have a different water bottle for events, but I appreciate this because it allows me to stay hydrated in between events when I'm vegging and introverting. More amazing design. What else we got? We've got this, okay. For me, this was uh, probably the highlight of the swag bag. So there is some other really cool stuff, but it's hard to top an actual I fix it precision bit set uh, screwdriver set for fixing stuff. And I did actually use this during the conference to fix my robot. So I brought Nano Archimedes, Archimedes Nano, Nano Medes still working on the name, a tiny version of my original owl companion bot, Archimedes, who sits on my shoulder uh, using a GoPro harness. And this guy is still a work in progress, but one thing that happened is that I forgot that uh, I need to put some Loctite on these screws or something while I'm prototyping it, or just replace it soon, because his neck went all floppy. And I actually en did end up <laughs> abusing this to tighten that screw, and now it looks great. Oh man, he's lost a wing again. It was raining there, so uh, the origami wings did not do super great, and now he appears to have lost one of them completely. But work in progress. You can follow that at one of the links under uh, under this video as well. Oh, there we go. You can see the sort of process. I'll be sharing more about that as the project progresses. But yeah, thanks to this kit and its uh, full set of little hex bits. This is a Torx bit that I used. I think I used the biggest Torx bit to fix his little neck M6, oh, TR10. Then there's uh, Phillips bits, flathead, and some special extra little ones, including pentalobe for specialized fixes. I love this set. It's called the Minnow. Uh, I fix it has a bunch of different screwdriver sets that I think are all named after different types of fish. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry. I know your hair is an amazing shade of pink right now, David, but you know me. Look at this. There's a reason that my hair was blue before Hackster even had a logo. <laughs> Hello, my name is Alex Glow, and I am your usual host on Hackster, uh, Hackster's video channel. All right, so back to the unboxing. I should start telling people my name. Um, a beautiful notebook from PX4. I stuck all the stickers and stuff inside of this so they wouldn't get wrecked, but... Uh, wide ruled and with a lovely elastic band to keep it closed. Uh, my colleague Ginger was there and she actually is very active in the drone community. So it was cool to see a bunch of um, representation for drones for good there. We've got an iFixit sticker, fix the world. 
spark fun uh hung out with nate sidale from spark fun always a really cool person who founded the company and then uh became the ceo he started it because he wanted to have it be easy to buy electronic parts um when that wasn't really an option for him in college then uh, became the ceo started running the business decided that running a business is not exactly what he wanted to do with his time and went back to found spark x which is a really cool group that um makes special projects out of spark fun ultimate machine we've got some i think that's a 3d printer representation not sure what exactly this is it might be more i fix it uh pulse sensor.com this is a really cool sensor that you can actually get very cheaply that attaches to arduino microbit and other um hardware platforms which allows you to do exactly what it says on the tin sensor pulse we've got an open hardware sticker love that logo and of course Hackster.io. This is one of my favorite of our stickers, and everyone else seems to agree because they go away the fastest. So if you have one of these, uh, appreciate what you got and maybe use them for trading. Plus, of course, some gorgeous open hardware stickers with their little uh, designs on them. Here are all three of the designs. We've got a capacitor with a little butterfly, a little uh, eight pin chip on there with the wings and stuff, and Hack the Planet, which is splendid. Uh, ooh, <laughs> and a spe uh, a an exclusive code for taking five percent off of a Lulzbot 3D printer. The repair manifesto from iFixit on a big sticker. You can stick it on whatever. I have another one of these that I've stuck onto my actual actual little repair kit um, box. It's very good. Repair is sustainable. Repairs war on entropy. Repair connects people and things. I love it. There's some, been some really cool advances in the right to repair recently, actually. Just, I think, last week or the week before, Colorado signed a uh, landmark bill that allows people to fix their own tractors. Very good for farmers. More iFixit stickers, including ones you can put over your camera and just on anything you've fixed. Okay, more stuff. Oh, there's another one that goes with this, actually. We've got this guy, the Jimmy. Um, so this is featured on one of the stickers. And uh, it's just a very nice thin metal blade that's very flexible that allows you to pry open stuff without doing a lot of damage. I did this just so that I could play around with the metal um, blade on here, but I will have to clip that off. Let's just do that now. Always good to have a prying tool around. Beautiful. So that's a bunch of different stuff from iFixit, actually. They're really, they really did their part. Okay. Let's jam on. This one I was a little confused by LDO Motors. I saw a cool demonstration from them. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I was confused by it until I opened it up. <laughs> Let's just say it is a gorgeous ruler and i'm happy to say that there are two rulers in there so i'm kind of glad that i didn't go with my idea which was making a pcb ruler as well i am going to be making one for hexter but that's uh it's going to have some special stuff Mot motorize your world automate your dreams a little picture of a stepper motor uh ldo motors seems like brass got a little tassel on it very fancy you can combine it with the notebook speaking of notebooks let's carry on with the digikey innovation handbook this is a notebook with numbered gridded pages. I'm sorry for the contrast here. It hates me. Ah, but yeah, good grids. And then you've also got a bunch of info, including pinouts for popular boards, the Raspberry Pi Pico, the Teensy, feather boards, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone, Arduino, uh, more cool stuff about, oh, SparkFun Micromod, Seed Studios, Weed, Wio Terminal, lots of stuff that we've covered on the channel before um other general tools for making stuff with and uh reference stuff surface mount packages do, 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 do. very cool anything in the back here or is it just notebook all the way down it is okay so from where the notebook starts to the end it's all notebook cool more stuff to use with the bookmark there's also one other little no oh no there's two other little <laughs> okay let's go with the shop bought one this is a pretty straightforward notebook and I've stuck a thing in here, but it's a nice little dot grid, which I love. That's my favorite type of notebook lining, honestly, is a little dot grid. Very good. 
ShopBot makes CNC routers, if you're not familiar. I think they have branched out into other stuff too. There was this zine, which is a wonderful way to not only tell you about the Hardware Summit, but, uh, and it includes like all the schedule and stuff. So cool. Perfectly branded. Not only that, but there was a specific part of the schedule for doing zine making. So they gave us a little demo on the main stage about how to fold one of these little eight page zines. It's just a piece of paper. You make a cut down the middle and you fold it in this way so that it goes together like this, like magic. Finally, uh, our last little paper product here, we've got oddly specific objects, AKA uh, Joey Castillo with this little year planner thingy, index of pages, um, You've got some lined pages. He has a tutorial on how to use this book. Uh, it helps you plan out basically your entire year if you use it properly. Uh, day book, I see. Uh, it's designed to be carried all year. Use the first lined page for notes that are relevant all year long. Pages two and five are left blank for any maps, illustrations, or diagrams you may wish to refer to throughout the year. Pages three and four feature a tabular layout useful for logging travel, tracking inventory, or keeping tabs on dates or milestones. And then you have one or two lines about each day you can write about in the year. Draw a box around any seven-day period in the perpetual calendar atop each page to lock the pages to a specific month, crossing out the 29th to 31st as needed. Uh, this is what he's talking about here. Again, a little bit difficult to see with this contrast. There we go. Uh, and he actually has a little tool that he made to make it easier to uh, little block out a little seven-day sequence in there. Uh, for a month. And then you have a scratch pad for day-to-day -day notes. It's a big year. Make the most of it. Love it. How much for the future Hackster Ruler? Well, that will be a freebie. And we're going to actually get away, get into another one that I've already done. There was um, a pick kit that I gave out. But first, let's get back through all the way through the official swag bag. And then we'll go on to my giveaway, which I turned into a workshop, which you can also find in the description if you're too impatient. <laughs> um, no magazines. What do you mean no magazines? Kind of curious. Um, I did not manage to make a zine during the uh, zine making period, unfortunately. I uh, That might be what you're referring to. And so I also didn't feel right like taking any of the ones that were there. Um, here we have another ruler, PCB way. Common diodes and transistors. It's a very attractive pink color. This awesome ruler belongs to. Uh, it almost matches that Anouk Viprecht pink colored teensy that was made a few years ago, which, you know, come to think of it, it might actually be the same one. Who knows? But uh, again, not super my color, but I'm going to put it in my collection I have over here. Let me just show you real quick. This is my ruler collection. And all but a couple of them are PCBs. This is just a nice little technical one. Um, we've got from one made of wood from Make Stuff Move. But we got two of these ones from Alpenglow for the love of SOD. Sod. Okay. Someday, I'm going to do a video on all of these. Because like I mentioned, I'm designing my own one. And uh, leave a comment if you'd like to see more about any specific one. Or if you have one of your own that you'd like to send in. Uh, that's definitely welcome. Honestly, I think the most useful one is the one from Evil Mad Scientist here. But I also built my own one that was a little bit inspired by that and some old book illustrations. So we'll go through all that later. <laughs> Not today, but another day. But anyway, these uh, these two are going into my collection, including the one from LDO Motors. That's so stylish. If you've made a ruler, you should drop a, a link to it in the comments as well, because I'd love to see. Oh, David says there should be a make in the bag. Alas, uh, maybe I missed it or something. Very sad. Um, there's a really cool issue that's coming out. Either it just came out or is about to go. Mm, I think it already came out, so I can say this. Uh, David, stop me. You have like three seconds to stop me if this isn't cool to say. But uh, an issue of Make has just come out that is all about toys and RC stuff. It says boo. Okay, you didn't stop me, so I said it. Uh, and we have a video coming up 
just came out. We have a video coming up that is a new episode of Hangout and Nerd Out. It's going to be a live session where we hang out with three guest nerds and our three hosts, including David here, uh, my colleague Ginger, who is also at OGS, and myself, where we invite three amazing guest nerds on and uh, ask them about what they do. They each give a 10-minute talk, then we do a 15-minute panel Q&A, and then we do an open session where you can join, turn on your camera and mic, and join in the discussion. Uh, or not, you can just lurk too. It's all good. All right. Uh, I'll drop the link to that in the description as well. It's on our Hackster Events page. All right. Just a few things left in here. I got another copy of the zine because I lost it. <laughs> lost my first one by tucking it into a thing. Um, we've got a mystery 16 gigabyte flash drive. Is it a make flash drive with the issue on it? Probably not. Oh, it's SparkFun again! Good stuff. I have one of these. I use it all the time for transferring files between stuff, as you do. It's just useful to have, like, a bunch of these for when you're traveling and need to print stuff. Like, for example, workshop directions, which, again, we'll get to that in a second. Um, more from SparkFun? Quick, give it a try. This is their uh, small I2C compatible little uh, system. It has a ton of different boards. Compatible with Adafruit Stemma QT, if you know that one. Uh, and they've given us a little accelerometer. A BMA 400 breakout that is quick compatible. That's an accelerometer, right? Yes. Cool. And I'm going to put it in my bag of quick stuff. Which includes, uh, there, I've got a couple of air sensors that I really want to work into a robot. What is this one? Oh, it's already hooked up to the, I think this is the ESP266 thing? No, no, this is MGM240P. I lied. There's so many cool things going on. This is a temperature sensor. So, yeah. Lots of the makings for a robot in here, but the air quality one is the one I'm especially looking to incorporate into a bot next. With a breakout for the micro bit. Okay. Nearly done here. We have the badge. So, of course, with an awesome conference, you got to have an awesome badge. And I wanted to upload this to Thingiverse before starting the video, but it's not letting me log in. But anyway, uh, I'm about to publish this little cartridge that you can use to store your um, CR2032 coin cell batteries of questionable origin. I have no idea what the deal is with any of these. So we're going to try them until we find one that works. Okay, that one seems to be dead. <laughs> and this is where um, on-off switches come in. I love this board, but the one thing that would make it better for me, and the same with any badge, uh, any badge that you give me, I'll be so much happier if it includes an on-off switch, because what I did was I got sad that it was using up all its battery while I was sitting in the dark auditorium, just looking at people on the stage. And <laughs> I took out the coin cell battery that was in there to start with, I didn't have anywhere to put it. I probably stuck it in a pocket or something, but by the next couple of hours later, it was gone. So please, please give me an on-off switch. I know that this is like a gorgeous design. It is a really gorgeous design. Look at how they've anchored this together with the solder on there. Um, and they've embedded the LEDs in the middle of the board. It's not going to snag on your clothing or anything. It's not going to, they're not going to get knocked off in transit be, by being jostled in a big box together. It's really a beautiful design by SparkFun and the magic of automation. You've even got a shitty add on breakout here. Pardon my language. That's just what it's called. Uh, but yeah, I just, I'm going to lose. If you give me a battery and I have to take it out to turn the thing off, I'm going to lose it. I'm just going to lose it immediately. And that's exactly what happened. So uh, please give me an on off switch in the future. Um, love this design, though. It's just gorgeous. And watch out for my little CR2032 cartridge thing. You can put a rubber band around it, hold all your batteries in there. You don't have to keep track of what they are. Just grab one later and try it. I have a whole other one of these that I've filled up from grabbing random batteries around my office. It's real. So besides that, they also gave us a whole extra set of the PCBs. Check this out. I got four more of these to run around with, so I don't even have to have them light up or anything. I could just uh, wear these around and um, put my name on stuff. It's got a hassle silver coating there. Interesting. Okay, so 
Let me grab a swig of water here. <laughs> I'm living swag curiously through others. That's amazing. Uh, you've got some really cool robots that you're working on, and I can't wait to see more of your companion bots. Uh, David chimes in to say that for Hangout and Nerd Out, his guest is Ben Eady from Ghostbusters Afterlife. That's very exciting. George says, you can charge those coin cells, but they'll explode in tiny booms if you overcharge them. So make a charge controller for your coin cell. Making a charge controller for your coin cell container could be helpful. That's good to know. I did not know that you could charge them. I probably won't try that anytime soon just because I know that I would probably explode it. But anyway, so uh, we didn't just come to take stuff. We came to give as well. Uh, and I brought along a bunch of these kits that I've made with my Avnet guitar pick PCB. For 100 years of Avnet, for a while they owned this company, Guild Guitars, and I thought I'd celebrate that a couple of years ago now with this uh, guitar pick, functional guitar pick PCB, which lights up and you can use it as a necklace, as in this case, or as earrings, which my colleague Ginger was wearing hers uh, all weekend and she just really rocks them all the time. I don't have the courage to wear LEDs all day, every day, or at whatever events, but um, she really makes it work. So yeah, this is what it looks like when it's done. If you got one of these, you can find the link to the instructions both in the kit itself, uh, bit.ly slash avnet pick. It's on the QR code. Oh, this is the old one with uh, the wrong logo because <laughs> I didn't consult the branding guidelines before I got it printed. But uh, the new ones, yeah, have the same URL on there. And I've updated the tutorial because while we were there, I was giving a lot of disclaimers about how there's some little plastic nubbins that you got to clip off on the back of the switch if you want it to lay flat. And fortunately, I've actually gone ahead and updated that now, uh, both in the um, hand soldering uh, instructions, diddly do, clip off the plastic nubbins, and on the surface mount assembly instructions using the mini hot plate from Adafruit. Um, ran a whole workshop with 30 people um, at our Avnet's corporate office last week. And uh, using solder paste with me running the hot plates, it actually went really well, really smoothly. I had my wonderful colleagues from Hackster, there were f four other people who were like running around telling people what to do and how to put it together. And then they would help each other. And uh, this went really smoothly, just way better than trying to teach everyone to use a soldering iron. All they got to do is add solder paste and place the components. Then they came to the back and I helped them do the hot plate assembly. You can also find at the top of this um, tutorial, which is linked below, the extra detailed printable workshop instructions. If you want a little extra information about how to put this together and what you should have in it, you can check that out. This is what the solder paste should look like. This is where to find the little green dot on the LED. Um, this is what it should look like when all the components have been placed with the solder paste. And later on, I'm going to put a video there with what it looks like while it's heating up because it's just cool. <laughs> it's not like any extra info and that exists in this video as well. It just looks so cool. Okay. Um, going back through more of these links, you can check out, of course, the talk recordings, uh, our swag bag unboxing from last year, the previous year, 2021. And all the way back to 2020, which was, I think that they uh, mailed them all out because this was the first year it was virtual because of COVID. Good times. Um, also, we published a bunch of videos. I was putting out some short videos while we were there. Uh, one from Huai Xu Peng's talk about this amazing Kirigami circuitry done with a fiber laser and flexible circuits made with Kapton tape. It is so cool. There's even stuff in his talk about how they uh, use the fiber laser to solder the parts to the, uh, to the PCB, which is just incredible. Also, these amazing LED shoelaces from Alexa. Check them out. So you can follow us on Instagram and on TikTok now uh, if you want more cool stuff from events that are going on. And especially go check out the laser folded circuit one because it gave me some trouble when I was uploading it and now it only has seven views. <laughs> Be sure to check out um, Archimedes Nano. Maybe suggest a name for it because I don't have a great name for it yet. It's just like a smaller version of the bigger Archimedes bots that I've built before. Check out the Open Hardware Summit 
main page, check out the main schedule. Definitely go watch the talks on the Open Hardware Summit, uh, Open Source Hardware Association Oshawa page. You've got this year's, you've got last year's, you've got previous years, just so much good stuff here. All right, I'm going to see if there's any more questions, and then we're going to close up shop here for a day. Questions and comments. The laser PCBs are so, so cool. It's very true. Miniware sells well. Those little hot plates are amazing. They have also the TS-80 and TS-100 soldering irons, which are amazing. Someone else, um, Evan Khan, showed me a chisel they made, which is now discontinued, but was gorgeous. It's like hammered metal. Uh, really not like what I was expecting from this company, but it's so pretty. Very excited to have a pair of the uh, guitar pick earrings. Love it. You mentioned the air quality sensor, the quick uh, from SparkFun air quality sensor. Let me find it. I'm just going to actually go run and grab it. Uh, and then also I'll go find the, the one on the website. SparkFun air quality. Oh no, I found it. Okay. I think it's this one. <laughs> Here we go. SparkFun air quality sensor. SGP40. Quick. It gives you... Humidity compensated, volatile organic compounds, or VOCs based indoor air quality. Does not return specific concentrations or VOC gases. Instead, it outputs a digital value based on common VOC gases present in an indoor environment. And this value can be combined with Sensirion's VOC index algorithm to detect the relative intensity of VOC events in relation to the average readings in a 24 hour period. So it's like a sensitive electronic nose for detecting VOCs in a room. Now, I'm just going to say it. I really probably could have used that in the uh, workshop that I ran because even if you're, you know, regular soldering gives you fumes, using solder paste on a tiny um, hot plate still uses uh, creates fumes. Even if you're using lead-free solder paste, which I was, it's still not good for you to breathe. You still want to wash your hands and you still... It's best to have ventilation. We didn't have any windows to open. It was kind of bad. So um, make sure that you have that when you're running a workshop. Where can I get some Hackster merch? Well, you can join a Hackster contest. That's uh, hackster.io slash contests. We also run promotions every once in a while over uh, like naming stuff, uh, different types of designs. We love giving people swag. And of course, if you come to a Hackster, an event where Ginger or myself will be, um, we'll definitely be happy to give you some swag. But yeah, if you're not in a place where you can easily get to many of our events, then that could be a little bit more difficult. But uh, yeah, contests are probably the best way to go. But also keep an eye on our, so our social media because sometimes we send stuff out. Uh -huh. It would definitely be helpful for everyone to have a personal air quality sensor. And I'm going to run over and grab that one that I was talking about and just make sure that it's the same one for you. Pardon the noises of chaos and stuff falling, but here we go. This is a <laughs> bag where I'm keeping all the stuff for my upcoming microbit bot project that, you know, who knows when it will come out, but we've got some quick based LEDs from SparkFun. We've got this guy, which is the air quality sensor. Yep. Oh, SGP30. Interesting. So the one that I showed you on the website was SGP40. This is SGP30. I'm wondering whether this is an earlier version or is it actually like a different type of sensor? Let's find out. SGP30. Let's have a look. This is the 40, this is the 30. They're still selling both of them. So my guess is that this one is not an updated version. Um, oh wait, no, interesting. Huh. Okay, give me a sec. Those are actually the same page. That doesn't make sense. Spark fun, SGP 30. 
it just redirects. Okay, so it must be a newer version because uh, when I try to go to the SGP30 page, it just straight redirects to this page. So this is probably the updated version of it and that's what you're gonna get. They do have their hookup guide. I love their little guides for all this useful stuff. They teach you about required materials, what all you need to get it um, working, and then also suggested reading more about the quick uh, system, as well as I squared C, serial terminal basics, etc. Good stuff. All right, that's all from me. I think we've gotten through the cool stuff in the swag bag, aka everything in there. Everything in there was cool. Um, be sure to check out the previous versions. Check out the Avnet guitar pick PCB kit. You can order those from Oshpark. So if you want swag, that's another way to get uh, our PCB merch. I've got a few different projects that are like Hackster um, and Avnet swag, and you can order those directly from Oshpark in the After Dark colorway. So uh, this guy in particular, using the link in the description below, you can find all the components that I use, as well as that Oshpark ordering link, and just be sure to get it in After Dark because that's how it looks coolest. Um, the matte black is really sort of, eh, sort of a shiny black actually, is really part of the package. Uh, and purple is cool, but just not as cool. So that's a way that you can DIY some Hackster merch. Also, if you go to something like o Open Hardware Summit, you might get one of our stickers. And then contents and stuff. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we're going to be posting more cool stuff from different events, including more stuff from Open Hardware Summit as I edit it and get it out. Uh, we'll see you hopefully at an event coming up soon. Um, be sure to tell us if you have a really cool one that's coming up. And uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks for joining me and hack on. <laughs>